All right, so here we are day one priming, starting the painting process. So it's looking good. I got, we'll go through, where did I start? I started in the kitchen anyways. Let's start where I started. So I got all the floors clean. First thing I did, I got here a little bit earlier this morning. Um, so I primed all the kitchen. This just has one coat of kills on it so far. I still gotta come back with the primer, but I've run out of primer now. Um, I still got to cut in the angles, but I'd like to wait till I get all the walls primed, rolled out, and then I go through and just start in one corner and go through the whole house and cut all the angles all at one shot. Um, and then, you know, around the edges of the trims and stuff. But I, I didn't roll any of the trim. I rolled a couple of the trims that looked okay. Like they didn't have really bad roughness on it, but the ones that had roughness on it, I'm just leaving them because I want to scrape them and, and, and brush them with some heavy grit sandpaper first and then patch them and then sand them and then prime them so we're not wasting any primer right so it's looking really good in here though i don't see anything showing through or anything it's covering really good so the drywall walls will get away with one coat of primer but the plaster walls are going to need two definitely um even though they look like they're covered it's just it's safer to do two for one reason is to make them stronger because they're so brittle you touch them, you just, you lean something against it, it'll leave a dick, nick and a ding. And reason number two, because there's so much mud that it sucks the, the primer right into the wall. And if you only do one coat of primer and then you do start the finishing paint, um, you may end up with little dry spots where the drywall bleeds through. So do two coats of primer and you don't end up with that stuff. So get all the ceilings primed all the way through here. This whole room's primed, just the walls and the ceilings. Got the bathroom primed out, walls and ceilings. He can do the tiles anytime, but I think it would be better to have him come and finish the trims before doing the tiles um, to keep me going on what I'm doing here to get the painting done quicker, right? The tiles can be done overnight anytime, so it's like a two day process. But the trims, there's probably a couple days worth of putting the trims back on. And then there's at least two to two and a half days of me just messing around with the trims to clean them all up and get them all primed up and caught up. So, so once I get uh, another fiver of primer, I'll go through and I'll finish all the rolling of all the walls and ceilings. And then I'll get up and I'll cut in all those angles. Right? So it's priming out really well. still drying that's why you can see a little bit of discoloration there I just finished rolling this room and and that room over there this room's all primed out I had just enough primer left over to do the ceiling in the closet and the back wall I still got to do the side two side walls when I get more primer tomorrow so so that's as far as I got for priming. And then, like I said, all the floors, they've all been scraped. Cleaned as best as I can for now. I'll give them another, another mop down after I get all the primer on just to get the rest of the dust out. So then you gotta go through and uh, vacuum out all these and stuff. So this room I didn't prime at all because I ran out of primer. So tomorrow this is where I'll start. I'll finish this room off, get it all primed out. And then same thing, all the floors are nice and clean now. It's all brushed off and cleaned off, dusted off. Got all the dust, all the dusting done today basically before I start priming. So there we go. It's looking pretty good anyways. So this room's dry, you can't see anything through it. So the drywall ceilings, they're covering really good. So one coat of primer on the drywall stuff will work. But uh, that's dry. As you can see, some of the drywall, some of the drywall mud has, it's dried up and bled through. Like it soaked in all the primer. So that's why you have to do the second coat on these plaster walls. Otherwise that would show that spot going across there where it dried, in, dried out a little bit. That would show on the first coat of finishing paint. Same thing right there is a little dry spot. So that's why you have to hit these plaster walls two times with the primer anyways. It'll make things easier for painting too, so. So yeah, 
I think we're we got a good day considering we ran out of paint if we didn't run out of paint I would have had everything every all the walls and ceilings rolled out but tomorrow we'll get that all finished off and then we'll cut in all the corners and then we can start working on the on whatever trims they have so far put up I don't know if the guy's gonna come tonight or not um, apparently he works during the day so it's kind of an evening thing for him so hopefully he makes it and gets some more of these trims put on so I can work on those tomorrow but there's lots I can work on tomorrow anyways once I get the rest of the primer on these walls and ceilings so we're looking good looking really good so day one painting the job that I just finished taping this is we care drywall repair and professional plastering services and finishing services have a great day guys our missions is old our old walls to brand new is our mission